Okay, I'm going to short the euro at 1364. Looking for a push down. Trying to hold on to it. Looking at this four hour bar. If we can break these lows, if we can break these lows at 1348, we can uh, we can get a nice move back to maybe test the low of uh, 1328. So let's see if we can get this. First target is 1328. I'm going to try to push it and see if I can get it. 1328 is uh, 1328 is $450. So let's see if I can get it. Um, I'm in the green. I'm not going to take any loss. If it come back, I'll get out one tick. One tick above, uh, below break even, which is real tight because we did have a long extension down to the support level here. So it could have a big bounce, but hopefully um, it don't bounce hard. Um, this red line right here. This red line right here is pre, uh, Friday's low, so it broke Friday's low. Let's see if we can stay below that. You know. See what happens. Okay, here's the update. We we're bouncing off this low, off this 1348. We got support at this 44, which is this bar here. The low is 1344, so we haven't probably getting past this support level. So let's see if we can break test previous uh, Friday's low of 1328. If we break 1328, if we break this 1328 level, we can see a we can see a push down to to maybe 12 1280 1270 level. But this 1344 is holding, and we did have a big bounce off this lower 1328, so. Let's see if all, this, all the buyers is out. Once this felt this high, let's see if all the buyers is out. I'm going to let the, the sellers have his way and push it down. We're back in this congestion area here. So, got these little spikes down here that's, that's, that's been holding up. So, we got support in this area. See if we can break it. It's looking heavy. See if we can break it. Here we go. Let's see if we can break it and keep going. We might even break the pre Friday's previous low of 1328. But this is my target. Um, see how, how the price reaches down here. 44 is trying to hold. That's this bar here. The lowest bar is 1344. There we go, it's bouncing off that 1344. Trying to get this. Trying to hold this 1344 level. Let's see if we can break it. See if we can break it. I'm trying to get the 450 or more. One contract, see if we can break it. We're gonna have a little bounce around around this area, this 1344. It's coming close to previous to Friday's low. This is the low right here of this bar looking to break. This green candle here. Looking to break that low. If we can get past here. We can break the 1344. We can see a move lower. Okay. Let's see if we can get it. It's trying to hold. I think it's heavy enough to, to go. Let's see if we get a bounce or not.
I'm going to pause and come back. Okay, it looks like we're having a problem breaking this, this 44 and getting stand below this 44. Let's see if we can we can hold on to it. See if we can come down and test previous days below. Um, time is, I know we're going to have some, some, some problem in here in this congestion area, so see if we can hold on to it and, and, and ride it down. It's going to give us a little rocky bounce down. So, still in it and see what happens. Okay, looks like we're getting a heavy bounce now off of the off of here, so off this 44 level. So, I'm gonna have a trail and stop. Um, at a hundred, I really want to let it run. I don't want it to bounce and come back and um and and. and and get me out of here, so I'm gonna have to put in a trail and stop. Man, you trail and stop and just take a hundred if, if it. it comes up. I'm trying to let it run. We have a little bounce off this 44 level. I'm still bearish on this. I still believe that this can this can go to test um just timing of when. I was hoping it did it earlier, but it didn't break. It's 44 level in here, it's it's holding some support, so I may just have to take a hundred dollars profit. Okay, see if it get me out. It's bouncing. Bouncing off this level. Off that 44. So. If I don't get the 100, I have to get out one tick below break even. So. See what happens. Not coming down to get me out. I still believe we can touch just Friday's lows. Just went timing. It didn't break down. Just 44 held. Which is in this congestion here. So trading on the four hour chart, yes, we can get a, a big bounce up a big bounce, a big push down, so I was looking for the push down, but didn't do it yet, maybe, okay, I gotta get out one tick above break even, is it gonna make me get one tick below break even? Okay, I can always get back in. I'm at one tick below break even. 
only made 1250 had a 287 dollar trade but i was looking to get to 1328 to test retest um the low of previous days uh previous days friday's low so it may still reach there let's see what happens come back okay back on the euro trade um we popped up here to about 80 and as high as uh, 1374 so I didn't want to hold it and get stopped out so I wanted to wait till it came up and break this low and I'll take another short below uh, this 40 the break of the low um it was holding this 44 around these levels here so I'm looking for the break of 44 first target is my same target is 28 previous days low Let's see what happens. The dollar has to break to the upside. To make this move down, I need the dollar to move to the upside. So let's see if we can get it. See, see if I can get 40. Okay, I'm in at 40. See if we can keep going to the downside. First target is 1328, which was my first target. Um previous days low let's see if we can break previous days low now I'm have to target somewhere lower and hopefully get to the set 1275 if I can get 1275 on this trade it would be it would be eight hundred dollar trade if I can get 12 1275 yeah. Would be an eight hundred dollar trade if I can get twelve twelve seventy five. That's my um. That's my target. Kind of reaching for it. See if we can stretch this for our barking stretch. Need the dollar to keep breaking up. Now I'll come back. I'm going to pause it and come back. The open on the four hour bar is 1344. So let's see if we can stay. Stay below the open on the four hour bar. And the close on the previous bar is um, 1344. So let's see if we can stay below this 1344, which was the level that, that it bounced off of earlier. So let's see if we can stay to the downside. Okay, I was stopped out two hundred dollar loss. Didn't get the move I wanted. Came back up. First move. No, taking that first break is always the riskiest. I was looking forward to keep moving, but dollar didn't break to the upside, started to retrace, which pushed the euro back up. So see what happens.